a loving husband, father of two, and now a grandpa of four. Who could ask for more? But almost six years ago, a twitch in William Montgomery's arm brought things to a screeching halt. 2009, it was in September that I was diagnosed with ALS. Now what? You know, what is this? So uh, we were in Kamloops at the time, uh, and coming home from, the, uh, from our uh, September uh, golfing uh, week. So we got home and then put it on the internet, and that's when we, holy Christmas. It, uh, it's not good. But Bill, as his friends call him, and Elsie, didn't let this disease take over what they have now. The trip home was kind of long and uh, quiet. But then we realized, okay, we're all going to be dealt something. In our, we're not going to go out of this world without something, right? So um, we accepted it, and now we've got to move forward. Once we accepted it, each day just seemed to be easier. It's like, holy wow, you know, why type thing too, you know, but I don't like to, to say why, you know, it's just uh, life that happens and uh, you have to go with it and do the best you can. And he sure does. The retired volunteer firefighter keeps positive and looks forward to the days ahead. Oh, the first thing is uh, look for that cup of coffee. <laughs> Uh, have coffee in the morning and uh, catch up on, on uh, reading the paper maybe or watching the news and uh, then uh, I um, check out the emails and uh, I'm, I'm starting to read more books. I got into a lot of uh, the Caribou Chilcotin books that are really interesting to read so catching up with some of the local history and uh, it, 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 I know a lot of the people that they mention in the book so it makes it quite interesting. While William learns more about the history of the caribou, he can't help but appreciate the community today, many who were at the fourth annual Williams Lake Walk for ALS. You kind of hate to say this is for me, but it was, it was basically for, for me and, and everybody that has ALS. Uh, when when uh, Heather uh, or uh, Eileen was talking there about her husband in the walk, they got involved in, in doing the walk and then and then she says, today's walk is for Bill. That was pretty neat. And on top of all that, William and Elsie say they can't imagine going through all that they have without the support of their two children. We, we are certainly a, a, a team family. Yeah, we truly, truly are. And they're always looking and, and listening and want us to try different things for dad. And, and yeah, so it's just, we're not alone. We just are not alone in this battle. And they sure are not. Today, the couple are thankful for what they have. Uh, well, first of all, I don't like the word lucky. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I feel I'm very fortunate is my word for being lucky. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, family support, it really boosts you up and uh, like you want to, tomorrow we're going to do this. Like it doesn't bother me one bit that I have to make his breakfast and give him his shampoo and put his coffee in the microwave or wash his bed. That, 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 it's just in a day, it doesn't bother me. I, I'm just thankful I can do it, you know, that, and we can keep having him here. Um, but we just renewed our um, passports and that's good for five years. So who knows, hopefully we'll have to renew it after five years. While the pair fight this battle together, they continue adjusting to the new normal, hoping for a solution to come tomorrow. Sooner than later, they'll be, um, they'll come up with something that will just halt it in its step, whatever stage people are in with it, and until they find a cure, you know, it would just be marvelous.